Hey guys, my name is Kuyoshi. We're back with my blind playthrough of Mario plus Rabbits Sparks of Hope. In the last video, we left off in um, Beacon Beach. We're gonna continue uh, going through it now. There's a beach that uh, you have to walk with the sunrise key. Alright. Keeping an eye on that dark vestacle. I hear Cursor uses them to sap all the energy from planet. Nasty stuff. Right. Oh, there's our coin shop. Do my audio visual captators deceive me? <clears throat> or do I see some discerning customers with higher quality? If I use your customers, they have what I call value blindness. For them, I put out factory returns over stock items. Still, they do nothing but haggle over price and badger me over reward points. <laughs> Pixel patter bots at home and can't afford to buy them all, so they have to share. But do I complain? No. Continue to offer amazing deals such as first time Beacon Beach customers. I get two super. I mean, super mushrooms. This is huh? your game, but Ooh. after this, if you want a full team mail anytime, you'll need to pay anytime except during combat. Check out your new item bag and use an item to boost your strategy. Alright, this is each hero kill to use one item per turn, it'll cost an action point. Oh, there's our sunrise key. get two of these and huh? one of those all right okay So I'll uh, unlock the next level, at least one here must reach level 5. Okay, so that can be used later. Oh, so this is how you level- so star bits are how you level up your, um, your t uh, bonus characters. I uh, so now it's uh, the star of them as. And I imagine we're probably going to have to max those levels out for certain points. Well, if you had to lay eggs that size, you would be in a bad mood, too. I know. Oh, there's an enemy, finally. I was wondering where... <laughs> if we would find any enemies here.
Okay. Let's use Steely Stare. So yeah, kind of interesting. We just fight enemies via the overworld now that spawn randomly, or we fight the dark mode tentacles. We'll probably just go to this one right now. Since it's closest, and then we have to go probably to the town. I'll show you a bit first because uh, now that there's experience, uh, we could potentially gain to make certain parts easier. So, uh, one thing I do want to show off is, like I said, this game does have multiple uh, heroes you can use. I figured I'd do that because um, I want to show you something that is different. So remember that one problem that um, the game keeps on mentioning? Where I think a couple of players have said before, Oh, you can't switch heroes out in this game because uh, you can do other stuff. And also, you can't switch out Mario because he has to be in every single battle. Well... Guess what? As you can see, we can um, switch them out no problem now. For the first time ever, we can have whatever team we want. We can even move around their uh, sparks as well to ensure that they have a spark as well. So, if we go to sparks, we can move them over to our main characters at any point to do other stuff. So, I figured in these next two battles, we'll try out the new different characters to see how they play. <laughs> so that means now we can use our other character. Okay. can't dash at an enemy right now, but we can take out these enemies that are right in our face. So this is the new attack reduction. Alright. 
I don't want to use an item yet. Let's uh, pass the turn. I don't know what that guy was doing. He didn't even attack me at all. Okay, we can ch dump down here to change our movement. But we don't have dash, so where would we even put ourselves? Maybe team jump. Mm -hmm. we can really do here. Oh, that's not the right thing. There we go. Defeat all of them. Maybe this can get more than one. Who knows? Nope. Alright, in that case, we need to grab a peach a bit more. You remember, when you attack, your turn is over. So that's something we need to know. change my range to get dashes out to So this is all just a dash a few enemies. Now we can team jump again with Luigi, and I'm gonna put him okay. actually probably over here. Ooh, okay, he can just jump off like that. Take some all damage here, but that's fine. Luigi's in more trouble than Peach, so we should probably just use this. It's been real. Oh yeah, that's right. This is a you don't have to take out all enemies, pal. I almost forgot about that. So yeah, I was wondering why it ended early. <sighs> so. Yeah, essentially, because of the random enemies on the map, this game basically has segmented encounters in it. Something that um, the other games just don't have. I guess that'll do. 
You just got your first memory. Open the memories menu to check it. The bob bombs roaming the galaxy. Oh, you can pull up. I didn't even. Influence. I didn't even Though notice that there is audio insane. for this as well. A successful hit will okay. cause one to ignite, while dashing them allows heroes to pick them up and use them as explosives. Okay, that's an now. So we kind of have to go around and just. Cleanse each planet of its uh, corruption tentacles and whatnot. Oh, and we got a ran random item for free. Well, it's not a random item, it's a super mushroom. So I'm supposed to save Beacon Town, right? I should probably just go in and see what this is first, actually. I was just waiting until after I did some other oh. stuff. Huh? <laughs> Oh, so this tells, teaches you how to do the premature dash on the enemy. Hmm, this seems easy enough. Let's uh, go with this. Mario Luigi are technically the fastest to uh, use. Alright. Cool. Alright, we got skill points on more skill points to use now. So you get skill points as you level up now, which is interesting. We're probably not going to have much to use, though, with only one skill point. Nice work getting rid of that bomb bomb. I was worried it would kaboom the poor creature I found. See, the door to the lighthouse can only be unlocked with the sun. Gone, we can't get inside normally. Lucky for you, the discover old critter can make its own right. Watch, I'll show you. So now one of those Sarkis. It's now one of those Sparks. Better known by me as Rabbit Boomas.
Alright, this next part, this is where I am going to try out my second, uh, half of the area. Okay, well, we can't get around here unless we get this bomb bomb clean up first. But we also have to enter this temple, too. I thought I actually had to enter it a different way, but I guess I'm not. That's, uh... That's, uh... Yeah. We didn't... No, uh, apparently it's right here. Alright, then. We'll just go in. So you saw Rod Luigi is a bit different. He has a uh, trio hit weapon now, like uh, a regular Donkey Kong. Okay, now we have to reach the area. You gotta win this spell so I can leave with you, else I'm stuck here. You know, we were following a different spark earlier, but... <laughs> The Here's a tip. And guys on this particular battlefield are pretty ephatic. Get outside of the battlefield and they'll give up. How does the young people is able to move around the battlefield and analyze both heroes and enemies? You kind of new enemies, be sure to analyze them. So we can see. Scooper, highly mobile with a one range two shot attack. Weak to burn, resistant to frostbite. He uses two attacks of 150 damage each. And we also have Goobas in our path. Okay, I did say I would do something different, and I'm not lying. Rabbit Mario and regular Peach will now be in. I'm not going to do anything else to ourselves. We're going to just try this now and see what happens. Oh, too easy! Okay. Well, they definitely nerfed Rabbit Luigi Mario Rabbit Mario to the ground. His lure tactic was one of the best tactics in the game, and now he doesn't even have that anymore. All right, who's the most tankiest of the characters? That's Rabbit Mario. All right, I'm gonna send him to go further into the areas with a team jump. So we can get as close as we can. And we'll try to team up to defeat this enemy over here. Okay, cool. We have a new attack. Alright. He still has an AoE attack. So he still has the AoE attack, which is cool. <laughs> And so does Peach as well. Keep on. Huh? Alright. Test this ability out. This is counter a bro. If somebody gets hit at any point, Whoa. 
and they're nearby, they'll immediately attack. MVP! MVP! Okay. Why? <laughs> We can get to the sand like we just did there, or yeah, that's gonna be a lot faster. We only had to really pass that one turn. And we all immediately leveled up again. We're level 4 now. Which is cool. And we get a new spark, Pile Star. And here it tells us that we can feed Sturvitz to a Svark. I think I'll put that on Peach. And we'll keep this team set for now. We want to do like two battles with each new team just to show off the different characters. And we'll go into this area. Oh! There's a different area. Okay, that looks like a boss. Maybe that just fell with us in here. <laughs> Depending on sync oh target stuff, I could do either AoE or extra stuff. You just discovered a new teleport fag. Open the map menu and use it to fast travel around the hmm. Also, here we go. We also got a special pin thing here. What's this? Apparently, Augie believes he's from a family of proud demigods. For such divine creatures, murals must be like family photos. Okay. Unfortunately, this regal depiction of the birth of Augie and his twin Perfectus is marred by Augie's chronic dyspepsia. Hmm. Okay. okay. Just done. There. There, I saw the star of light. It went over that big old crevice. Mm -hmm. hmm. Perhaps we could cross over it with that plank, but we'd need to raise the water level there somehow. All right. There we go. Not really that hard of a first puzzle to do. I was initially going to do this as segmented, but since there's no segmented really levels that get shown here, we can kind of just do whatever we want. And since we have to get everything anyways, it's like, it makes more sense for me to just do 
Who said? The little goon goes a long way. If you could defeat even three of them, I'd be grateful. Oh, so we need to hunt down roaming enemies. Okay. Okay, so I pretty much want to use AoE on those kind of enemies if those ever appear again, but if... Oh, you can replay it for more experience. Interesting. So you can replay battles for experience, so of course... NFL doesn't really give much experience. I'd rather just, um, be at once to... Call it done. Oh, well, there's another one of those chests. This is the greatest sort of moment of my life. Forever a new memory. <laughs> We've seen only one chest so far, which is interesting. What's this? The only trophy Augie won as a child was for second place in a broadwurst eating contest. Okay. Depressing Y instead of the button to dash, which is X. Trying to get that thought play is a bit tricky. This is a massive amount of enemies. Change as I fought. There's also another enemy in there that I didn't even see. Okay, I don't want to attack yet. Because just to still do our turn. Partially. I got that set up properly. Nice. Then we can test out our burn attack next. Although we might end up doing counter there first. We didn't get to see that the last time. Oh, 
So that's how, um, burn works in this game. So you apply it to your weapons now. And do other stuff. That would didn't even get us experience. It just gave us money. Interesting. The ocean is said to have been formed by the tears of Perfectus's hairdressers, who wept with joy while brushing his golden mane. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice store. As soon as we set cooldowns, uh, reduced, let's, uh, buy that a bit. Okay, those memories are required for 100%. Also, we'll buy a pal block as well since we don't have enough of those again. We can see what that does maybe in the future. Alright. Augie's first job was to help sailors in distress. This mural is called Sentinel of the Seas. Oh boy. Okay. Alright. Without the spark, we will not be able to enter the lighthouse. Huh? Gee, that is far from the only reason we should save that poor creature. Obviously, defeating the Darkmas Tentacle will also provide us with one of two purified Darkmas energy crystals we need. However, this creature's higher density of Darkmas energy, as compared to Puddles, means our enemies will be more formidable. Okay, good to know. <sighs> That's what I get for buying you an off-the-shelf AI empathy module to save time. Alright. Here we go. So the Dark Mouse, Tentacle, Dark Mouse, those are the storyline battles, basically. Super effects can be applied to potentially a new one, generating unique behaviors. Here, the burn effect sets its targets alight. Super effects are useful against enemies. Take care to avoid their resistance and exploit their weaknesses. Right, that says, for example, a scooper is weak. Hmm, a creep one of your heroes. Star might be a good strategic move. Always remember to use the taxi cam to check enemies' weaknesses and resistances. On that low, let's uh, switch team around again. We'll throw in Rabbit Mario. And maybe actually a regular Peach with Burn. Who knows? Oh, no. No, that was. Uh... Actually, maybe we should change around a bit. Let's have Mario with us. Actually, let's uh, change that around a bit. Actually, 
I kind of like the AoE better. Let's uh, do that with Beach. Since she has slightly longer range, so she can at least advantage of the effect better. Let's go! We have an item we can use. Oh, we can trade this around, I see. So, if we grab the Spellbox of Peach now, we could use it to destroy these enemies here. Whoa, that is actually kind of uh, destructive. <laughs> okay, then. I do like the combo effect you can use with team jumps now, which means you basically have most unlimited range. It's not perfectly unlimited like the previous game, but it's strong enough that you can um, definitely use team jumps to get across to certain parts that you wouldn't be able to get to otherwise. It just gives you a lot more movement range than in this game, that's for sure. There's a secret path on the right. I have no idea what that does. Where do I think I'd find out? <laughs> we do not have anything that I can do, really. Perhaps we can't really do much anyway. Uh, probably faster to pass the turn to the enemies. Now, it is quite interesting the way they changed the cover system is slightly different now. So now it could potentially run into multiple covers at once, meaning it's less likely that mm, there's even that it to begin with. Let's try this out. So we've each got a barrier now.
think I'm gonna go like here maybe with Mario. I know Peach's weapon doesn't quite take out these enemies, so we'll use Mario to boost him up first, then, then Peach will attack to defeat them. Guardian. Okay, I don't think I want to find out what that is. Let's just try to focus on getting the objective now. Maximizing our distance. Going backwards for a second. All right, we did. So a bit longer, but we got it done. More enemies. Now we have a new coin efficiency set up, so it's still trading characters out we could just heal whenever but it is a bit tricky hey! of course now we also have in combat heals as well with super issues we'll of course save those for if the battle gets really desperate that you see in the switch like this is this is that person on the logo which means this is one of the, the new characters exclusive to this game just based off of the looks i'm kind of getting a lot of cloud vibes from it anybody who's played final fantasy 7 will know exactly what that is his actual name i don't know it's probably not that that's for sure what? Oh, there's an error in me. Now I said, now I did say the heals will be hot longer, by the way. They could be anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour. It depends on what I think. Oh. We have our first big boss, Val. Oh, we get forced into it. He's called Giant Wildclaw. We have a third we character. A stranger, having three heroes cooperating on the battlefield would give a huge advantage. All right. I have a better idea. Let's uh switch the team out a bit, and I'm thinking because this guy moves, we can we're gonna go Mario. Oh, well, actually, Mar Mario Luigi. Let's go with both of them and move our sparks around to fit it. And I think I'm going to actually give Mario the burn affinity. And we'll lead you this uh, spark on the right. Then we have to do skill trees with these characters now. Which 
we can customize even before the battle begins. This was something we could not do before. Defeat giant enemies to get gold prism. So, what does it say? Critical hit chance. Extra dash. Extra health. HP chill out. Receive fitness of any healing receives. Increase the range of Stormblade. Increases damage done by Stormbane. Hmm. Let's just improve damage for now. Make this guy a damage dealer. We can use that right away. And then, um... What do we have? Uh, we could do heal sight damage a bit more. We can do... Let's make Wario mostly damage dealer, actually. Actually, no, wait. Let's uh, raise the range a bit. Okay, we did that already. Oh. How do you change to a different... Mm. Oh, you could... Oh, you, oh, yeah, that's how you do it. I was just moving the wrong way. I'm trying not to customize all the heroes until you absolutely need them. Uh, I think we just want Steely Stair damage here. And we'll do weapon range as well. So it's nice that they gave us weapon range. That was something that we did not have before. I think if we have range on all those, that might be better. But yeah, I'm gonna go with the damage dealer build and see if it works. And we'll probably have to focus on the boss, maybe. We'll see. And now we can go. Well, at least check what he can do. Eyes within range, take reduced damage. But I want to do the Z art thing for sure. You know, we want to set up our heels a bit differently. Yes. All right. Oh, there's where the other enemy is. <laughs> Oof, barely made it. Let's go. I figured as much. This guy is a um, Vavager slash uh, Smasher style enemy. I actually figured that he would be as much. What that means is just like the Smasher, when we hit him, he automatically moves forward. So we have to deal with that now. Um, I don't want to move this guy, but I also want to move Mario a little bit more than just that spot. Off you go. Let's do um burn on Mario now. Let's go. And put it both on oh, okay, we can't use that on him. Good to know. I should have checked first. Well, in that case, we'll just defeat this enemy instead. Burn is way more efficient in this game, by the way. It seems they automatically take damage while they're around. Okay. Ignores partial car and hits multi <laughs> Oh, 
Alright. This guy is really strong. Kind of like saying. Okay, yeah, he's. I figured as much. He's a strong Your melee fighter. Be darkness portals. Destroy them quickly. More enemies are bound to pop out soon. Oh yeah, by the way, yes, you can randomly, because those uh, attacks require you to do skill shots, yeah, that can sometimes happen. If you miss up, you land out of bounds immediately. I'm not gonna heal necessarily, because uh, we're nowhere near this guy, but... I will supercharge. And normally enough, I did not do a proper setup, so this enemy will get to hit us for free, unfortunately. That's just something we have to deal with. The reduction somewhat helped out. Not sure how much it actually helped out though. Okay, you can't dash in enemy. All guard!
Purify Dark My Synergy Crystal Attain. Until we destroy the lighthouse tentacle, we can't create warp tunnels to other planets, and eventually to Cursa. Uh -huh. Oh, bingo, bingo, bongo, baby! You got the sick. Let's get it to the way, Allison. You again, the spark hunter. Not a spark hunter. Name's Edge. Great. Rabbit Edge. Welcome to Edge is also technically a uh, Final Fantasy name, but it's from Final Fantasy IV. Oh, there Edge. instead of that <laughs> guy's huh? just called Edge. You get a spaceship, huh? Guess you could ride sidecar with me for a time. It's not like you can't use the helm. Help. I believe it's time we start keeping three heroes on our front line. Who'll take the first shift? Also, well, now we get three heroes at once. Cool. For now, we'll just keep this team because uh, we have some other stuff to do. It's about time. And we got some more level ups too. Alright then. I'm gonna play the save server a bit, but before we do that, it's time to save. Uh, I'm just gonna save over my previous information. If I need to, I could always redo the game. Which is already fun enough. But, uh, yeah, we've gone on for quite a while so uh, i'm gonna end the episode i hope you guys enjoy these longer videos maybe i'll see you guys in the next video peace